Humanities. I'm Tessa Bravada, a Student Life Advisor at SCEF. Today I'm going to show you a walkthrough on how to use Microsoft Teams. Teams is a really great software for free with your SCEF login that you can use to communicate with anyone you want at SCEF. So think of your professors, classmates, club members, and more. Uh, so it has a lot of really great features that I'll help you walk through, such as chatting people, messaging, video chats, scheduling meetings, and more. So first you go to your My SCF page, click Access Your Email, and that will take you to your email. Then you go to the top left, these three dots here, click Teams, and that will take you to the Teams page. The first time you use this, it will ask you if you want to do web browser or download the app. I'm just going to go to the app right now, but they both work exactly the same. So once you are here, you will see navigation tools on the left hand side. We'll go first to activity. So this will show you a feed of everything that has recently happened. So mentions, replies, um, if anyone has chatted you recently, sent you a file, notified you of something, all of that will land here. You'll go to your chat. You can do an individual or a group chat with anyone you like at SCF. So you'll click this new chat feature, enter the name of someone you would like to speak to, and it should populate with the people who are at SCF. Then you can just send them a quick hello, and so she'll write back in just a minute. The next thing is Teams here. So this is great for group chats or classmates. Um, if you're working on a group project, oh look, Julian wrote back. If you're working on a group project, you can make a team here with your group and share files with them, uh, put messages in there, uh, even do a video chat all together. So either join a team or you can create one. The next thing is assignments. Not all professors use this, but some do. They can put assignments here for you to see. Calendar, this is awesome. So you can either meet now with someone and send them the link or schedule a new meeting. So say I wanted to meet at maybe three o'clock with someone here, and um, you know you can put the location, the details. For right now, I'm just gonna click save, and it will populate on my calendar here. If it was three o'clock right now, I would click the little join button that will pop up, and that will send me right to the video chat. Next is calls, so you can put someone on speed dial or create a new group for people. Files is great here, so this will uh, come up with any files that you have sent or have been sent to you, so just so they can be all in one place. Right now I'm going to show you how to do a video chat, so I'm going to go back to my chat with Julia and click this little video icon right here, and that will send her a call. And so when she picks up, her video will be right there. Hi, Tessa. <laughs> All right, so sometimes your video doesn't work right away, so it could be helpful to click this little camera on and off button. It might have been having some trouble today, um, but feel free to just, you know, wait for your camera to turn on. Um, and then so you can also mute yourself here by clicking that, and Julia cannot hear me, and now she can. And then... <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> Then you can share your screen. We'll talk about that in just a second. Um, you can also do more actions. So you can um, you know, put the call on hold. You can record the call, put some background effects on. Um, so lots of things there for you to explore. You can also show the conversation. So if you want to see what has been happening with people who are not doing the main lecture, who maybe are asking questions to type in to the professor, you could type something in and they'll get to your question when they are able to. That way you don't interrupt the whole lecture that's going on. Um, some other tips for just etiquette on a video call, make sure that you're not interrupting people just like you would in a normal meeting. Uh, make sure you're not walking around with your camera because that can be very distracting. Um, and if you have some loud noises going on in the background, just make sure to click this mute button here so that no one can be interrupted if dogs are barking or other things are happening there. Um, that really helps in a large setting. <laughs> yep, for sure. Um, and so from there, um, you can also share your screen. So if you see this button pointing up, I'll click that. And then I can select which screen to share from. So I want to do this screen, 
and it should go over here to show this screen here. So Julia can see everything that I'm going through. I can click on other tabs and she could see everything that I'm doing. Perfect. Yeah. And so you can click stop sharing your screen if you want and that will be done with. And I hope that this tutorial has been enjoyable for you and answered all your questions. Good luck guys.